Hi SQL folks, welcome to another tutorial from SQL Maestros. Today we have a quick one and the intention of this content is to make you a bit more productive. Now if you are someone who is doing all that query tuning stuff, one of the activities that you do is uh, you review the cardinality estimation, which is the actual number of rows returned versus the estimated number of rows. Now, this will resonate well with a lot of people who use SQL Server Management Studio and the execution plan. And when the query is taking a lot of time to execute, you jump over to the execution plan and then you try to figure out tuning opportunities inside the execution plan. We do a lot of things there and one of the things that we do is take the cursor over the arrows and even on the iterators to just see the actuals versus the estimations and this is where we try to find out if there is a huge gap between the actual number of rows versus the estimated number of rows. Then we of course investigate further to see why the cardinality estimation went wrong, where the stats not up to date, so on and so forth. However, what I find is if the execution plan is big and then we try to do this activity manually by checking each iterator and the arrow uh, between the iterators, it becomes a bit cumbersome. Okay, let me explain what I mean. If you look at this query, it's just a, it's just a made up query. I just wanted to write something to make a, a kind of a slightly bigger execution plan. So let's just turn on the actual execution plan and let's execute the query jump over to the execution plan. Now, if you have an execution plan here with a long tree, like, you know, it keeps going down and you can always right click and then choose, choose, uh, where is that option? Okay, zoom to fit, yeah. And then of course it gets even smaller. And then you take your cursor over the arrows just to see where things are going wrong uh, in terms of actuals versus estimations, something like this, actual number of rows versus estimations. There could have been a better way to find this out. And that's where the show plan uh, is really helpful. The, the same output which you get in text format. So I'm just going to quickly show how that works. And maybe that is more useful when you're just dealing with cardinality estimations. Okay. For other, um, and, and for other things also, I mean, let's look at the output and see how useful that could be. Okay. Just let's scroll down a bit here and do, let's do this one. So I'm going to get this output with set statistics profile on. So what I'm going to do is execute the query. And uh, before that, we'll turn on this set statistics profile on. And then after the query executes, we'll turn this off. What this is going to do is give you the ex execution plan in textual format just after the result set. Okay, let's go and do this. So the graphical execution plan is also turned on. We'll look at both of them. Now let's go and execute this one. Now this one, I've purposely written this expression here because you will get a bad estimation there simply because the stats do not have information about the, I mean the right, uh, the right estimates are not up there for this expression. So let's jump over to the execution plan. And if you take the cursor over the arrow between select and filter, <coughs> you can see the actual, oops, let's do this once more. You can see the actual number of rows is 772 and the estimation is 36395. These are the things that you want to identify and then of course take your corrective action. Now, again, if this was a plan like what you saw earlier and even bigger, then this becomes very cumbersome. So what you did with this set statistics profile on and off, this option statistics profile is below the result set, you get the same execution plan in that textual format. In fact, execution plan is nothing but a tree structure and you kind of, uh, uh, you know, the data flows from right to left. This is how you're navigating and then you're reading from left to right. So you can see the tree structure here, the select operator, the filter, then the two compute scalars and right at the far end, you have the clustered index scan. So this is the same tree structure. Initially, it becomes, um, if you, do, if you're reading this for the first time, it might be, it might take, take time to just kind of adjust to this kind of format, but then it becomes really easy. The way execution plan becomes, uh, is so intuitive to you because you have been dealing with this, uh, for so long, but this is not bad once you get used to it. Now, what you see here is the, 
one good thing and the bad thing here is the rows. This is the actual number of rows being returned. Like the cluster index scan is returning all the rows from the table. But finally, after we apply the filters and everything, we get 772 rows. This is what you saw in the execution plan. Where are the estimates? The good thing is the estimates are there, but the bad thing is it's a little far off. Here is the estimate uh, estimated number of rows, the estimate. So what I'm going to do is, I would have loved if this was next to that already, but what you can do is just drag this here. Now, this is beautiful. This is what I want. If this was a huge execution plan, you would get everything serially arranged like row number one all the way down. So like the select operator right on top and the last operator at the end. And then you can compare. It just becomes so easy to observe the difference between actual number of rows and estimated number of rows. Now here I know, okay, uh, this is, this catches my attention, right? Because until this point, it's all okay. Here, um, it catches my attention at the filter level where the estimates uh, are like, uh, you know, 36,000 something and actually 772. Now, now I can jump over to the execution plan and try to explore a few more things that I want because I get that information from the text version. Okay, hope this quick tip is useful to you. If you are someone who is doing query tuning, probably you're already aware of this. And of course, a lot of other, uh, you know, attributes out there and you maybe want to rearrange this uh, to suit your need. Hope you liked it. Friends, do check out sqlmaestros.com, upcoming masterclasses. So you get live access, you get the recordings and you get the recordings for all the previous batches also lifetime access. So that's a great deal. This is SQL Server Internals Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning Masterclass, 40 hours of deep dive and real world content. And of course, SQLMaestros.com has premium membership, the free video lobby, the premium lobby, all the recorded webinars, video courses, and the all-in-one bundle. Check out all of that. If you want the masterclass to be delivered for a group of people, for your team members, drop an email to contact at sqlmaestros.com. Someone from the team will revert promptly. All right, friends, enjoy. Happy SQL.